Hi everyone, this is Julie. I'm here from the Scraps of My Life. I am going to try one more time to do the video, do a video on this album here. <laughs> um, I have tried several times to do it and it ends up being so long, like 50 minutes, 55 minutes. I just can't seem to get it right. So if this video ends up being longer than 20 minutes, I'm going to divide it up into two videos. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that... Um, or even 15 minutes, whatever, so that it won't take so long to upload it to YouTube. Okay, so that's just a warning for you. You, you know, This may end up being two videos. There's an awful lot of stuff in here, and you know how I get sidetracked sometimes talking. So, um, anyway, let's get to the album. <laughs> um, of course, looking at this paper, I guess you can tell it's Curiosity Shop. And um, I spent quite a while working on this album. <clears throat> um, I thought I might even sell this album, but I never actually, like I said, got the video done to show it to, to sell it. And so I thought about uh, auctioning it off on eBay. That's as far as it's gotten, I think, because <laughs> I've never done anything on eBay. And um, there's a lot of work in this album, and that's why I kind of wanted to put it on eBay and do an auction rather than... Um, I even thought about, um, actually, I thought about going over to um, that other place online. What is it called? Um, the web store. So um, if I decide to put it up, that's probably where I'll put it because eBay has all these little charges that add up after a while. So anyway, I don't know. I'll let you know if I decide to auction it off. And if anybody's interested, maybe you'll just speak up and let me know under this video or something. Um <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, like I said, it took me a while to do this. This was something I just kind of, you know, pulled out of my hat as I went along sort of a thing. And um, I wanted it to be, it's Curiosity Shop is the paper line by Graphic 45, and I wanted it to be like a Curiosity Shop from the inside out. And um, it took me like two weeks to come to a... Um, decide how I was going to do the front of the shop. I wanted to do it so much different than what I'd done it, but um, in the end, I didn't think it was actually practical, especially if I was going to auction it off or sell it. But I wanted to do it dimensional, like a storefront, you know, like downtown. We have a downtown area here in Elizabeth City, and they have the, the real, those shops have been there like forever. And they have the ones with the bay windows, and then the in, on the inside of the bay windows, the, the bay windows are on each side, and in the middle is the doorway, like a walkway, and you go into a door. <coughs> Excuse me, that's something like what I wanted to do, and I was going to put the door up, you know, of course it was going to come outward, and uh, instead of inward, and the door was going to be in the center, and I just, I don't know, I just couldn't seem to pull it together somehow. I was using acetate and everything to do it with, but you know, then I got this idea here instead, and I decided to go with it instead because I really got tired of fooling with it, so I finally settled with this instead. But it's a chipboard bound uh, album, and over here on the side, I have got this pretty little uh, dangly pearls and little uh, gem here from Prima Line. Right here is the front, and it is done in dimensional, a little dimensional. The top is the, um, I'll think of the name of that in a minute, um, you know, that hangs over the store. <laughs> this is ridiculous when you can't think of something. Um, and then down below there, I've got some danglies. I just had to put these here. I just thought it added so much to it. <clears throat> And the colors were, were bright enough that you could see them, but not too bright that they were overbearing. And then I cut out the um, unusual curiosities and, I mean, the unusual oddities and curiosities little thing and made a little sign up here above this window. And then I did the transparent window here with the swirly down here at the bottom and the photo in the background there of the paper. The little door up on pop dots and a little... Uh, doorknob here that is a sticker because I didn't want it dimensional. 
So it's very pretty. I don't know if you can actually see it. It's, it's so tiny. Um, and so that's the storefront. And then up over here, I was going to put the numbers, like an, an address would be over an old store. But I decided to leave that blank for whoever, if I sold it, um, because they might have some special numbers or a year that might be special to them that they want to put there. So I didn't put those numbers, but it's acetate there. And it's cut out from the, it, the paper's cut out, and then the, there's paper behind it, and then there's acetate on top. <clears throat> so any kind of numbers or letters would be pretty there. And then I've clo I've just made a regular closure with the other piece to this, the metal on the side over there with the clip. Now, I'm not happy with the clip idea because it's very, very snug. And so I thought I might put felt in here to buffer between the, the paper and the chipboard and the um, clip itself because it's very, very strong. But it's cute, and um, I really like it. So I'm going to put some felt in here. I have some really thick felt. And that way, when it grabs it, it won't cut into the chipboard. It won't do it, you know, right now using it. But using it over and over and over, it will. So I'm going to do that for that because I, I really like that. Instead of making it, you know, where it closed differently, I decided I like that best. So here we go. Let's go on the inside. And on the front... Um, cover. I just kind of used butterfly paper. I thought it was so pretty. And I did some flowers that the colors match the paper and some lace over there, cotton lace. And that's all I did to the front of it. And then it just opens up flat. So this part is not bound to the front cover like that, like it would normally be in some of my albums. Um, matter of fact, I don't do a lot of albums like that. Uh, but I have done some that way, but you see a lot of that on on uh, line that people bind the front page to the cover, and I I really like this way because you can it's flat and you can open up your album you know easier. This little bow up here is what holds that little side piece on. I'm gonna I really really wish I could do this from a different angle. Let's see, maybe I can try it this way. Um so that you can see it better. I don't know. We're going to try it and see. It's very, it gets kind of wide as I open it. So excuse me moving around the camera, but I'm just going to try to get it to the best angle so it'll make some sense for you watching this video, okay? So you can actually see. So what I've got here on the first page, now this album is something like I have never done before. Not necessarily the style as much as how I put it together and um, so it's really I've never done one like this uh, the form the fashion that I did the uh, file folders in and so I just want to go through it with you and you can let me know what you think of it and um, I'll explain it the best I can and as quickly as I can but here on the front page um, I have a lot going on it seems there's a you know a flower here this is a little photo mat behind this little door of a flip card, actually, whatever you want to call that. Got a nice little photo mat, and then it's got the normal page here. This is actually a pocket, and uh, just got some lace over there. And you can actually put a journaling spot here, or leave it, or put a picture over here, like a collage would be gorgeous, because uh, it's pretty wide. This is pretty wide right here. And then that just flips back and forth. And I didn't put a magnet on that one. I just left it like it is. Uh, over here on the right side is the bird cage. I just had to put it in here. I had made this some time ago when I was playing around with my inks and crackle accents and whatnot. And I just thought it would be so pretty here on this particular page. Um, these papers, I have used different paper lines, too. I haven't only just used the Graphic 45 Curiosity Shop. I've used different papers. So uh, you'll see that as I go through the album. But believe me when I say I used every one of the Graphic 45s and then some. So <laughs> uh, let's see. Best, best photo shot here. So this is the birdcage. And then uh, behind it, I, I put this little ring through here, hung these little charms from it and uh, 
put some journaling spots or photo mats, whichever you prefer to use it as, back behind it. And I did a couple of them. They're double-sided linen style textured papers. And then this is a very large uh, photo mat that comes out with a butterfly uh, acetate in the corner. And the little clip up here is removable. It's magnetic. I had um, seen, um, gee, I hope I can remember her name. I can't, so I'll put it on the, on the screen there for you. She had done something similar to this where she had cut the legs out, and I think she used a magnet on it. Anyway, I just thought it was adorable, and I just had to do something similar to it, so I did. I, was, I really loved using it. I love paper clips, and uh, that's really what caught my attention was that she used it for a paper clip. So the corners are punched, and they actually can hold photos in the corners. That's what those are. those punched are for, if you prefer to do so. It flips over, has a pocket on the back side that can, something can be slipped into, or um, more photos or whatever, and here is the page. And then down here at the bottom, I instead of doing a lean-to style pocket as I normally would do, I just simply did a collage, and this is all glued down pretty much, uh, some of it's dimensional. There's some postage, there's some uh, acetate dragonflies, and there are some eggs that are dimensionally popped up. Um, and the bottle there in the middle, and the postage stamp. So cute. I just love, love, love how that turned out. So like I said, this may end up being really long. So, um, And up here at the top, I, I hung this lace up here uh, to hold the bird cage. Uh, I kind of was thinking about a, you know, a tear at the top of a, cur of a uh, window. But um, anyway, it was basically to hold the bird cage with the garment pin here is basically what that was for. I thought it turned out kind of cute. I would call that a curiosity or oddity, whatever. <laughs> I tried to kind of go with the thing with the paper and because Graphic 45 just has such gorgeous paper and they do such a great job with the themes. So I kind of wanted to stay with that. I mean that's why I bought it anyway was the paper. So um, here we go on this far side. Like I said this opens up pretty large in spots because this, this page folds over that one. So over here on this side, I have just got a glittered flower in the corner here for decoration with, on this nice size photo mat that flips over, open rather. And I've got over here an actual, you know what, I, I'm gonna lay this down, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh goodness, this is kind of hard to show you. It's not hard to, to use or to look through, but it is hard to to show it to you. That little bird cage is in my way. Um, so I'm going to do my best I can. Y'all just bear with me, okay? I hope this isn't too annoying. Right here, this was so much fun. I did a something I've never actually really done. I, really, I don't really don't think I've ever done this before. I've done things similar to it, but this is a photo mat and the whole back side of it is open. You know, it's there. To use for whatever, but I cut a photo mat out of this acetate, um, printed acetate here. has all these items on it like an old sewing machines and umbrellas and chairs and gramophones and hat and uh, um, cuckoo clock, all kinds of things. And then I added these two colored acetate paisleys on here and put this pretty partially glittered butterfly here, popped it up, and it just so gorgeous. It turned out so pretty. And then over here on this other side, let me pull the album over instead of the camera, I um, did a, just like a backdrop polka dots here with a little lean-to pocket at the bottom, and did this little uh, pull-out tag, card, whatever you want to call it, with a little decoration at the top that, of course, you can slip something underneath. Let me see. I don't have anything really to stick under there. There's something here. So you can slip something right under there. It's amazing how that stuff holds at the top like that. I'm just amazed how it works that way. And then, of course, the border has a, you know, I did the edge. And then this opens up towards me like so. And this is a full page spread back here where the lady's legs are. I'm trying to move the camera here so you can see. <laughs> okay where her legs are, right here, 
And then sh these legs lift up for journaling. That's what these are intended for. Now these are from a different Graphic 45 paper line. And it had this little swirl here. Let me flip that back. And um, I had this. I had done some of the little butterflies with the crackle accents, and I said that'd be a really cute place to put one of those. So that's what I did. Just love how that turned out. And then the lace is, of course, the top of her garter or slip or whatever you want to imagine it as. But I thought that would be a really cute journaling place. And um, when I saw the other legs, you know, in the bottle. I thought, you know what, I've got some of those in my other paper, so but they're much larger. So that's what I did, and I cut some paper out behind it and put a journaling spot inside of it. I just love it. I just love how it turned out. Right here on this page, this is, as you can see, a nice large place to put a photo. And this little uh, oval cutout here is a lean-to pocket. I decorated it with this little dimensional sticker. There will be several of these that you see through the book. These are by K & Company. I'm pretty sure, and they have little gems on, on them. Maybe they're not can come. You know what? I don't even know. It's the one with the birds. Um, I don't think I have it here anymore. Um, I'm sorry. I can't tell you the name of the line. Let's, let's see. That's not it either, so I don't know. But some of the things I use, the acetate pieces, they are the Tim Coffee. They are can company. So as you can see, I'm right here. And um, I'm looking for the name of it. I know somebody will probably ask. It's the Blossom Wood die cuts. And they have the paper and the acetate mix. Anyway, these little um, dress forms, I painted them, the exposed part of them, and then the other part I put the flowers on it. And I'm going to move the camera so you can actually see them. I'm going to tilt it down for you. And I did more of those little uh, dimensional stickers over there at the bottom. That's what these are here. And uh, they are so sweet. I just love them. And I thought, you know, these are dress forms. They're supposed to have fabric near them. So I did this little tool thing here, and kind of like a half of a bow. And I put some over here and stuck the end of it out over here. I just love how that turned out. So um, that lifts up like so. And then up at the top, like I said, you're going to have to bear with me if you watch this video. This just, I love this album. I've never, like I said, I've never done anything quite like it. It's just flips and turns every which way. But there is an acetate, um, piece of acetate I cut out. I even trimmed, did the corner direct, decoratively on the bottom and top here. And I left the sides, that was kind of stuck in there, um, left the sides straight. And then I put this, um, cut out this paper from another line, this little roses here and flowers, and I put it on top of it to kind of give it some accent. And I ran this through my cuddlebug, uh, one of my cuddlebug folders with the script writing. It is so pretty. I don't know that you can, I think you'd be able to see it. And this is another paper line, as I said. And then these are two of the tags. This is just like a garment tag is what these are pretty much called. And it's the regular size one. So I put that one in there. And then I had this garment tag that was printed. And this is a, uh, it's back with the paper line. But the front of it is the, um, I did that to make it a little larger. Because it is printed on the back of this. And I didn't want to glue it down. But I wanted to make it a little bigger than it was. And uh, anyway, this is an actual, re re uh, let's see, replica of a garment tag. Like when you're having alterations done. And... Um, I just love it. It's got the roses in there and a the little bird. It's just gorgeous. Threads. I love this. Absolutely love it. I think this is Crafty Secrets. Um, one of their cutout things. And these little guys right here are just so cute. I just had to use them here. And so I took some of the string from the tag that you see there in the book and I hung these from it. <laughs> so I just thought that turned out really cute. Of course you could put anything on the back of them. You could put words or dates, whatever. I just thought they were so, so cute. And then going down to the bottom page here, I did a very large tag. Um, I had made this t a pattern for this tag some time ago. I've got some glue right there going on. Um, I probably got glue everywhere, as much as I've used on this album. <clears throat> but anyway, I had made this pattern, and I did it in a um, dimensional tag. I'll show it to you. Here's one over here. 
made from uh, some K and Company paper. And this one I made with a little pocket on the front. See, I did it like that. I, I made it larger, of course, but um, it's similar to this one. But this one has a pocket, and then on the back it has a pocket. So that, was, that is such a fun tag. So I kind of keep it near when I'm trying to figure out how to do tags. I um, keep it nearby so I won't forget it, because I do forget things. It's crazy. This is an acetate with a, actually, I cut out with um, one of my edge dies. And then this is a sticker I put on it, and it looks like it's just part of it. It looks like it's belongs there, and it's a lean-to pocket. And that way you can see through whatever you put here. I just love how this turned out. And then I took some of the beads and the uh, little ribbon that I've used quite a lot through this book, these ribbons, because of the colors, excuse me, and I put them on the, um, you know, through the top of the tag and backed it with some of the other paper, the paper that actually matches this line right here. And then I used this because I thought, you know, this is supposed to be a shop of curiosities. It's supposed to have more than just a couple things. So I had to. I just had to. Well, I have a background in sewing. So, you know, uh, obviously I went to the sewing and the lace and whatever I could get a hold of. So, yeah, this is the um, other paper line from them. And the colors, the peachy, rusty color here just went so well. And the lace here is just gorgeous paper gorgeous paper i love it to death got a, the, the third um little dress form here at the bottom let's scoot this down with a couple of flowers from prima this one i sprayed with some uh glimmer mist and this one is uh, a prima flower it's a printed one and then i have the lace on the border and of course the lean to pocket out of the punched uh, this is actually, the green is actually the, um, you know, file folder, like you see here at the, the top up here. Same one, same same color. So I, did, I made a pocket out of it, and that way this page is useful in more than one way. If you want to put something, a large picture in here without actually gluing it down, that's why I always use these, because, you know, sometimes you don't want to glue things to your paper. You still want to see the paper, you know. Get those little guys straight. Now nope, there we go. And then this just flaps back over top of that, just like so. And there's the page we started with. And then it flips to my left, like a book should. <laughs> this is so much fun. I mean, it is just so much fun. Like I said, I'll probably have to divide this up because it, it took me a long time to make this book. <laughs> and so I don't want to, you know, swizz right through it. Okay, so... And anyway, somebody might have a question about something, and maybe I'll cover it. Who knows? This part right here, I I did it just plain out and out for looks. I just thought it was gorgeous. I love the lady. I did cut the the um, wind up stem off of her back. I did it just simply as if she were bending over, and I had these perfectly colored crystals, uh, swirls, and I I don't know if they're prima or what they were right now. Like I said, it took me a while to do this book. I don't remember every single thing I used in it by name, uh, but I can get it if you if you're uh, interested. <clears throat> um, and I cut out part of the paper here. Just did what you know, some fussy cuttings all. She was connected to here. I left her there and took her on up. Another one of those dimensional tags here, and uh, of course I popped this popped all this up off the page. And then I'm accented it with these gorgeous, rusty colored crystals. It just turned out so gorgeous. I just love it. And then I made it into a pocket. And inside the pocket, I just have a simple tag. And this, this I do remember because this is one of the last things I put in the book. This is paper cut from the new romance line uh, from Prima. And uh, I just thought it was just so perfect. Uh, and I put it in there, made a link to a pocket from it. And then that's the back of the card stock I used, and I've decorated the corners with a punch. And then it just sits in there, and then this opens up to the left. And then I use my clock die, and I love this die. I love using it. I've only used it a couple times, but I love it. I use the hands, and I use one of the Tim Holtz uh, brads there in the middle, the metal. And love it, love it, love it. 
and then this is bottom part here. This is one time I did not use this as a lean-to pocket. I just set it in there among those flowers because I just liked the way it looked. It had the old tiny camera in there. And then that opens up upward this way. It's got the gorgeous flowers here. And uh, this is Prima paper here, the um, grid paper, whatever it's called, uh, from the, I believe it's a 12 by 12 stack of paper. And um, this is for journaling, or you could easily put pictures in there. And then, of course, this is for pictures right here. Just left it completely as it is. It had the beautiful colors and everything. It's got some words to a song. And that flips down. And then I'll leave it open, and we're going to look at this side. Over here is...